You want to talk? No. We've been spending a lot of time together lately. But we booked a show, a real show! <laughs> I had to pay 75 bucks to rent the place. Trenton's just great. Just to find out that nobody even wanted us here in the first place! We're about to have a... You couldn't keep it in your pants till after the show tonight! This is my brother, Denny Ray. And this is my little sister, Lisa May. Care to dance, miss? Sure. Joe Dean and Denny Ray quit so that they could go, you know. My daddy is coming to see the show. What is daddy doing here? Oh, hey, daddy, what you doing here? Hey, son, long time no see. There are so What the really hell? <laughs> You're his. He's your. And that makes me. <laughs> God damn it, Squeaky! since, uh, you know, the performance. That we never performed. Yeah. Uh, Joe Dean and Denny Ray found out that they was related. So things got weird there for a little bit. They're fine now. Joe Dean's still real mad about the whole thing. Damn it, Denny Ray! I didn't know he was my brother! <gasps> Other than that, things are pretty much back to normal. Oh, wait. Tell him about Squeaky. Oh, right. Well, when he fell off the stage, Squeaky finally remembered where he was from and how he ended up in Bug Spoon, and he just kept talking about the incident and saying how much he wanted to go home, so one day he packed a bag and headed out of town. After a little more thought on the matter, we probably should have took him to the hospital. He probably had some brain damage after that fall. Oh, he'll be fine. And that's pretty much it. That ain't it. What else? Do you know? No. No, we are not talking about them. Why not? Because it's been really hard for her. Fine. Well, tell it. Okay, so... After the performance. That we never performed. That we postponed. Trent just disappeared. Just in the commotion of it all, he just vanished. He bamboosed, he skedaddled. R-U-N-N-O-F-T. Daryl, we get it. Poor Lisa May. She hadn't said a word since. Well, that ain't entirely true. She talked nonstop for about three weeks after. And I asked him why he did it, and then he just kissed me again, and I could not believe that. That was so crazy. No one asked him to do that. It wasn't like when they were at the barn dance and Daryl asked him to take me. He just did it. He was just back there being drunk and kissed me. I was so mad, but when he kissed me, I wasn't really mad anymore, and I don't know why. I mean, that doesn't make sense. He still lied to us. But then I tried to ask him why he did it, and then he kissed me again. And I could not believe that. That was just so crazy. Okay. And then... I guess when she realized he wasn't coming back, she just shut up. And anyway, it felt like everything I had dreamed about for just the last eight months had come true. And I couldn't believe it. And, you know, I think that he's probably going to come back any day now. I don't know where... That's just how things are right now. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, next order of business. We need a new manager. 
Well, how are we gonna find that? Hey, Bubba. <laughs> hey, hey, Daryl. I got that whiskey you said you needed for the meeting, and and uh, Linda, I got the aspirin you said you needed for the meeting, and Lisa May, I uh, I got you this rose. Bubba, just put it on the table. She'll get it later. Anyway, who has ideas about who can be our next manager? Well, how did we get the last one? Lisa May found him. Oh. Why can't one of us do it? Well, you can't do it because you have to write the songs, and I can't do it because I have to be the star, and Lisa May can't do it because she don't talk to anybody anymore. Oh. Well, who do we know that could do it? I don't know. Bubba, who do you know? Um, I guess you could interview somebody. That's a great idea. Will you set that up? Yeah, sure. Great! Next order of business. Thank you, Bubba. <laughs> Thank B Bubba, sit down. Hey, thank you all for coming. As you know, we are interviewing for the position of band manager. Now, your duties include, but are not limited to, <laughs> managing the band. Okay, so tell us a little bit about yourselves. Hi, I'm Jimmy, and this is my brother Jameson. Everybody calls us the Whiskey Twins, except we ain't really twins. We're different ages, and there used to be three of us. Our mama named us after the whiskey she was craving when she was carrying us, and our brother, Jack, he ain't with us no more. He got drafted in the army. He's a hero. He didn't get drafted into the army. He got picked up for trying to steal a riding lawnmower from Cowboy Doug's mower ranch. So he's in jail. I just didn't have the heart to tell Jameson. Yeah, upstate. I don't even know why. We ain't even really got a yard. But don't tell Jimmy, it'll break his heart. Hi, I'm Sue Ellen. I have just always loved you guys. I mean, the lifestyle of a rock star is just so glamorous. The clothes, the paparazzi. I cannot believe that I'm getting to meet the Who's Ah Hooplas. I mean, I know that we've known each other since we were kids, but. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm Dewey. I like cars and stuff. I like music. Uh, no matter of fact, I know all the words that lover boys get lucky on account it's stuck in my tape deck. Thank you, Bubba. <laughs> I'm Faith Collins. You might know my sisters, Hope and Grace. They're staying with my aunt in Florida for about nine months or so. I think I'd be a real good manager. I'm loyal and eager and I'm real fast at learning. Can be real fast. Damn. And the Egyptians wipe their backside with their own hand because they use all their toilet paper on their dead folks. That's just science. My name is Leanne Horton. Next! Let me ask some questions. Okay, fine. But stay on topic. I will. Now let's see. Elm tree. Go kart track? Saltwater taffy. Ice cubes on a hot summer day. Bee pollen? Pair on Shark Beach 3. Cafe Belt sander. Gifford. The feel of green grass against my skin. Damn. Damn. That's why you never trust a banana. They're not even real fruit. Fruit or round? Science. Lamar, how's that helping us find a band manager? Hey, this is a library. 
No man can own a library. I have a right to be here. Some guy said that one time. I don't think he knows where he's at. Where's all the books? Daryl, I just don't know about this. Come on. You know what's gonna happen anyway? <sighs> okay, fine. Where is Lisa May? She should be here for this. Just do it. It's not like she's gonna say anything anyway. Daryl! She has been through a lot. I'm sorry. Okay. Bubba! Yeah. We would like for you to be the new manager of the Huzzah Who Flies! <laughs> I'm so honored. Jesus Christ. There is no way that Lord Humongous could ever beat Dr. Danger Jr., not in a steel cage, not in a padlock on a pole match, not in a wiffle ball match, not even in a game of horse. <laughs> Everybody's working on the weekend. Everybody likes some new red pants, you know.